Hello all, welcome to another quick learning. Today we're going back to our code signal exercises on database SQL. So we're going to go to the arcade section and the database section. We're now on the always leave table and order section and we left off, we are on number seven. So most expensive. So it's got a bunch of flavor text. I'm just going to go back down to here. So a list of expenses is stored in a table product which has the following columns. So we have a unique product ID, a unique name, a price for the item, and a quantity. So what they want is they want a table which contain one row with a single column, the product with the lexicographically smallest name on which Mr. Cash spent the largest amount of money. So lexicographically just means alphabetically. It's a fancy word for alphabetical, basically. Uh, the total amount of money spent on a product is calculated as price times quantity. So here we've got this table right here. Uh, so this is going to be the highest amount here because you go 1,500 times 1. None of these are going to even be close. So they just want uh, a column called name and the first item would be MacBook Air. And they give us another example of products. Uh, so this one we have to look a little bit deeper. So this is 40, uh, this is 40, this is 40, and they're all 40, I guess. So then they want the lexicographically smallest, which would be cucumber, because C comes before any of these other letters. And so they just want the name cucumber. All right. So what they want is a, the name column. So we're going to select name from, we've only got one table, so it's the products table, so just put in products. And we're going to order it by, first we're going to order it by uh, what's the largest amount of money spent, and they've already defined that for us as price times quantity, so we're ordering by price times quantity, and we need to put in this descending uh, keyword to tell uh, SQL that we want it descending, so the highest uh, total on top and down. And then uh, it says we also wanted uh, the lexicographically smallest name on which Mr. Cash spent the largest amount of money. So we're going to put name as the second uh, sort condition. And we want that ascending so we don't need to put a keyword there. And we only want one. So we're going to use the limit keyword uh, to limit it to one item, which would be the top item. All right, so if we ran that, we'll see all the items will pass, and that's all you need to do. So in this case, we learned a couple of new things. Uh, we learned uh, the descending keyword will uh, go in the order of descending instead of ascending. Um, so if you wanted to know what the ascending keyword is, is ASC, because but because by default, it already applies that. You don't need to put it. And in uh, SQL, you can just do multiplication like this, one column times another column. And the limit allows us to choose only a specified number of rows. Now, if you're using something like Oracle, now this is my SQL SQL, but there is something called row number, and then you would do row number less than one, so you would put that in a where condition. So you'd actually have to put this before the order by here. So you'd use this instead of the, the limit one if you're using Oracle, because Oracle does not uh, support this limit keyword. But since this is MySQL, it does, and we can do that easily. All right. Hope you guys were able to follow along with that and you got that one pretty easily yourselves. Uh, join me for some more of these and thank you very much.